Here's the Radius 43 stove. I was sent by a client to have it refurbished and also turned into a multi-fuel stove. Now, usually I'm able to get these NRVs out without a problem, but this one was challenging. It did eventually come out. NRVs are pretty common these days and easily replaceable, but for no rational reason I can think of, I decided to rebuild this one. I machined the head of the NRV so it was flat again, and then used the vertical mill to machine a 5 millimeter thick chunk of brass that I could use for the new head. I centered the NRV in the vise and then cut a 5 millimeter channel in the head of the NRV into which my little chunk of metal is going to go. Prepped and ready for silver brazing. Here's what it looks like when the job is finished and after some cleanup on the lathe to make the head small like it's supposed to be. Because the client wants a multi-fuel stove, it's important that the NRV work correctly. So I put it together and made sure that it would work. Here's that procedure in case you haven't seen one of my other videos where I show you how to assemble an NRV. Putting a new NRV pip in the little pip cup. Here's the spring, which has been cleaned with a little uh, 4 aught steel wool. Putting the spring back on the pip cup. Inserting it in the NRV barrel and screwing on the head of the NRV. What makes NRVs difficult to remove from stoves is that people don't use NRV head washers on them. These can traditionally be made of lead, but I prefer the low density polyethylene style that I make here in my shop. Out of old containers, I use a three finger grip to get that screwed on. This one is all ready to go, and here is the stove burning on kerosene. The kerosene jet will usually support white gas without problems, and sure enough, here it is burning with white gas, also known as naphtha or Coleman fuel. Using denatured alcohol in these stoves is also possible, but it's necessary to get 90% or better ethanol denatured alcohol. To prevent surging, a small roll of brass mesh was used in the fuel feed pipe. And to control the air, a air restrictor tube is necessary, which fits into the throat of the burner, as well as a dedicated alcohol jet with a larger orifice. And here's that stove using denatured alcohol. I hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching. Please link, like, and subscribe. 